No visitors allowed. That is the reality right now for some inmates at the Hamilton County Justice Center. Three of the elevators are broken and well, visitation is currently suspended for the South Building. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly. I'm looking for answers about a solution. She joins us live as to when things could change. What about it, Kristen? Yeah, good evening, guys. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is waiting on the parts needed to fix three elevators. Everything should be back to normal next week, but one mom tells me not being able to visit her son is taking a real toll on her and her family. I just want to be able to see my son. That's it. Trinell Johnson never lets much time pass without speaking to and seeing her children. Every day, every day. All eight of them. But she hasn't laid eyes on her oldest in two weeks. Devastating, you know, uh, worrying a lot. That's my oldest son. I'm going to do what I can to, you know, get him the help and make sure that he's safe, make sure he's well. Her son is one of several inmates unable to receive visits until the elevators are fixed. She also says he's unable to visit commissary and utilize other parts of the jail until repairs are made. They don't deserve that. That's how I feel. So whatever reason they're going through what they're going through, they should still be able to reach out to their family and to be cared for. She says she found out about the broken elevator through a phone call from her son, but she hasn't heard anything directly from the Justice Center. I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I While don't. she and other family yes. members speak to him by phone, nothing can replace seeing him face to face. I want to go down there and see my son for myself and look him in the eye and know that he's doing well. A sheriff's office spokesman tells me the goal is to replace the elevators entirely, but that decision lies financially with the county. So I reached out to a Hamilton County spokesperson. She tells me that the money for that should be coming in March because of a new sales tax. So there should be new elevators in the building by the end of the year. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.